بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته I will continue uh, from where I left off this is uh, ayah 4 to 7 uh, I like to share this screen with you so you can see We would listen to Sheikh Husavi recite. وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَدًا And to warn those who say, Allah has taken a son. Well, somebody may want to ask this. Of course, ayah is warning those that say Allah has taken a son, but somebody was say, well, at that time, there were no Christians. This is usually mainly addressed to the Christians that consider Jesus the son of God. And Allah is warning, actually, there are several warnings about this uh, throughout the Quran. Uh, somebody may say, well, there were no Christians. Why was this ayah revealed? Well, one thing for sure, any ayah that was revealed in the Quran, it was forever. For it's not, some ayahs were time specific, situation specific, that these are, those ayahs are clear for what time and uh, who they were addressing. But in most cases, the ayahs are basically for all the time and warning to mankind. So many surahs uh, and ayahs were revealed in Mecca that was, we use it ever since it was revealed and or the Medina. So it's not time specific. And some other Mufassirin also said at the time when this ayah was revealed, the Quraysh were under the uh, impression or belief that Allah had daughters and they ascribed daughters to Allah and sons to themselves. And you can imagine, if Allah had daughters, if they believe in Allah, but their, their belief was so distorted, if they believe that Allah had daughters, then why did they bury their newborn daughters alive? So this if could be also a warning to them that Allah walad could also mean a child, could be a warning to them. This ayah, we can talk about this for a long time, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go to the next ayah. I can, Combine him. They have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers. Grave is the word that comes out of their mouths. They speak not except a lie. This has been going on since creation. People come up with something with their mouth. They do not think. They don't have, sometimes they don't have a way to research, but the word of mouth from the old times was from the father to son, to son, to son, generations would go and people just, if one was misguided, it, they, would, they were misguided a long time until something came up to wake them up. In such case, a lot of prophets were sent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sent to various different people to warn them to not worship idols. And the, the answer is, we certainly have found our father upon that. That's so we want to follow their, their footsteps. Even though their father, even Allah says, even if their father, they do not even think, they, they do not even know. So people, this, is, this has been the case. And unfortunately, even in today's time when we have the possibility to research, there are people still stuck with their idea ideology, wrong ideology, without really thinking, and they just continue taking that forward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kaburat kalimatan takhrujum in afwahim. This is a really mighty word saying Allah has a son that came from their mouth. 
it came from their mouth. They were not even thinking, why? Why am I thinking this way? Why am I saying this way? <clears throat> they are really saying this is, Allah SWT is making it clear that this, this was a lie. This has been a lie from the beginning and it's still a lie. We go to the next ayah. فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاخِعٌ نَفْسَكَ عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ إِنْ لَمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ أَسَفًا Then perhaps you would kill yourself through grief over them, O Muhammad, if they do not believe in this message and out of sorrow. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tried to comfort the Prophet, peace be upon him, several times in the Quran because this blessed man was so grieved by people's disbelief and how hard he tried to guide them and how they turned away and did not want to follow. Especially, look at this. First of all, but it's like, that means somebody that could die from grief. I mean, he was grieved. Allah is a shy, perhaps you would be, you would kill yourself from the grief. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here, you know, he was going to ask Allah he on footsteps, he was following them everywhere talking to them to their home in the market in the, everywhere he, he you know he was going he was he was reaching out to them and he was trying to guide them but of no avail most of them did not believe this reminds me of the story of most of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala read the quran throughout the quran we see very clearly that most of the prophets they came to the people and very few believed the rest disbelief, some of them tortured them and killed them. And the most, one of the most uh, grieving time of the prophet was prophet Noah, who lived 950 years. And majority of his time, let's say he was 100 years old when he was, became a prophet, 850 years, reaching out to people, inviting them to worship one God. And he had so many complaints, you know, telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I offered them forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah would send rain that rain for you. This is like desert. They, they live where it gives you abundant, gives and hard and everything that was pleasurable for them, they would not believe. He says, I, I invite Allah, I invite them day and night. But my, my, my invitation, it does not increase anything except flight. I invite them that they would, that Allah will forgive them. That means they, he invited them day and night and they did not listen. They wanted to run away and they would put their ear, fingers in their ears. They want to tear their clothes from rage and anger and they would continue insisting on their disbelief and be in their, in their own way. And then that's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, told them to build an ark and you know the rest of it. And even when we read the uh, uh, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, if you even read the Old Testament when I was studying the Christianity, it just I was amazed at, at this man's patience, how he was patient with his people, how his people saw the most incredible miracles that no one, no human has ever seen. The Red Sea opening up and so many miracles that they witnessed and they still went after this belief. Imagine what this man went through. So this is the case. A similar case with our own blessed prophet, peace be upon him. Inna ja'alna ma ala al-ardi zinatan laha linablu wa hum ayyum ahsan amala. 
Indeed, we have made that which is on the earth adornment for it, that we may test them as to which of them is best indeed. The next ayah goes with that. And indeed, we will make that which is upon it into a barren ground. This is very interesting to, you know, it's really easy to just read an ayah and just move on. But really, we have to think, stop and think and reflect. That's when it will go into our soul, into our heart. Think about it. Here, this is an answer to their, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them, telling the Prophet, we have sent all this zina. Zina means adornment. We have given them. The Quraysh, some of them were very wealthy. They were looking at this poor Muslims that they had nothing and they were mocking at them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, we gave them all of this to test them to see who does a righteous good deeds. And in we will make them, we will make what is on the earth barren, barren, and the soil becomes barren. This is the sign of the end time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the earth would be a different earth. The mountains would be all crushed level. It would be like the earth would be flat. It would be barren. And these kuffar, they don't realize that all that they are so in love with, the world, their the, the wealth, their children, everything that they have, it will one day will become nothing. It would be, it, it, it's interesting here. This is ja'alna. It's like the past since we made this earth. Uh, adornment we made this earth adornment to see who is going to like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this earth in the past put us on there to check us to test us and to see how we do but he also he says but in the that means this is in the future in the future he would make this earth flat and barren so this is in some kind of a um more indication Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the uh, prophet peace be upon him you know let them let them have their own adornment if they don't want to listen to you this would be the end of them because this their test if they fail the test this is the uh, outcome of the people that will disbelieve uh, inshallah we will cover the uh, other ayahs in the next video assalamu alaikum